Well, hi there. I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, in today's short video, we're going to talk about a concept that, uh, well, is stakeholder theory. And I want to start right off by saying, yeah, if you and if you follow the, apparently there's a small school in Michigan called the Lake Superior State College and they publish a list every year of words that are overused and they say we should stop using. And they uh, put the word stakeholder on their 2016 list and uh, I'm going to say doing so is nothing short than the, the, the height of ignorance. Um, so stakeholder is, is one of the most important concepts to show up in business schools probably in the last, I don't know, 100 years. Um, and, uh, you know, this idea that we're trying to get rid of the word or something is, is, you know, clearly they don't understand what the word's about. Clearly they don't understand the historical significance. And it's, uh, it's very disappointing to hear that word being, uh, you know, proposed for banishment. At any rate, so here's what the deal is. So to understand stakeholder theory, we have to go up to shareholder theory. And the idea of shareholder is, it's, it's simply this. So in a company, there's shareholders, so the owners. So maybe it's one person who owns the whole company, or you know, maybe it's, it's traded on the stock market. And um, you know, so there's a lot of owners. But the, the, the basic, uh, the essence of shareholder theory is that the, when making business decisions, the only person to consider, or only persons to consider, is or are the the shareholders. So you basically say, okay, well, they own the company, so we only think about them when making decisions. So you you end up with incredible decisions. So you say, well, you know, we've had these these these, these two employees who have been in the janitorial staff for, for 30 years, and, you know, they've shown up to work every day. They've done a good job. They've had a positive attitude, just really stellar employees. But you know, the, the, the shareholders decide they want to have 0.3% more profit, so we're just going to um, eliminate their jobs. You know, they're unemployed. They've, they've worked here for 20 years or 30 years. You know, they're at an age where it's hard to get a new job. And, you know, all this chaos in their life. And then, then the shareholder theory says, it's not, you know, you, 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 always, you, you, you always maximize the profits of the person who, who sort of owns the company, sort of legally, and you, um, you just don't care about anybody else. And so you have these, these things where companies lay off. Uh, just yesterday, I was seeing on the news, or GM, I think today, is, this is uh, February 4th, 2019, I think they're laying off like you know, thousands of, of, of workers and so on. And um, you know, no consideration is given to, to anything other than, well, listen, we need to raise our stock prices, we need to take, take care of our, you know, the people who own the stocks and so on. So what's uh, stakeholder theory? Well, it all comes out of a paper that uh, Freeman wrote in 1984. So he's on the business school at University of Virginia. He's sort of a ethics pro professor of ethics and business. And uh, what he basically said was, are you kidding me? You know, when you make a business decision, well, yeah, you should consider the, 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 the legal owners. But uh, you should also consider everyone who has a stake in the company, hence stakeholder. So who are the stakeholders? Well, <laughs> the employees. So we don't just say, well, this, this is good for the stock price. We also ask, well, what effect does this have on the, on the employees? What effect will this have on our suppliers? What effect will this have on our community? You know, well... We can make more profit if we just dump our raw sewage in the local lake. Well, okay, we're in a community. The, the, the people in the community who, who, you know, use that lake maybe to swim in or fish or whatever, you know, they're stakeholders too. And so uh, it's a very, very important word that helps us remember <clears throat> that, you know, there's some morality we're governed by, this morality that, you know, we're only making decisions to make people who have millions of dollars make them a little bit more, and we're totally willing to ignore, you know, these these faithful guys who are maybe making minimum wage or not making much. You know, we just we just automatically assume that the uh, yeah the guy with millions of dollars will will choose giving him a little bit more and, and not worry about uh, devastating you know people who are, are less well off. 
and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm uh, uh, doing all right at tandem. It's not like I'm a minimum age worker or anything like that. But I, I do think that ethics plays a role. I think at, uh, one thing we've said from the beginning of tandem is, you know, look, in every morning you have to wake up and look at yourself in the mirror. And what we don't want you to do is look at yourself in the mirror and then go, you know, and just have all these regrets. We, we want to have, you know, where all of us have a clear conscience and, and, and we're proud of what we see in the mirror and we're not, you know, just some money grabbing, you know, whatever. So uh, uh, I think stakeholder theory is, is a big part of that. And uh, people do take it to ridiculous extremes. I mean, there's a few uh, authors who have written that, well, your competitors are stakeholders because you're saying if the stakeholders, everybody who's affected by your company, then your competitors are affected. So certainly at Tandem, we're having an adverse effect on a, a lot of our uh, competitors. And uh, I'm all for that. Uh, that's sl a slightly different issue. You know, I don't think we, we need to go to the extreme where we say, well, let's not make this business decision because that may, may harm our uh, competition's, you know, income or some way, you know, their, their earnings or something. And I think that's taking it a little bit too far. But what we do want to focus on is, you know, when it comes time to make a business decision, we are thinking about what's best for our people. We are thinking about what's best for our community. And clearly in medical devices, first and foremost, we're thinking about what's best for our customers. You know, we have we have people, patients who use our devices, and, and that's always been our first thing: is what's what's you know, um, what's best for them. You know, so you have a recall decision, for instance. First, and we've had uh, we had one recall fairly early on, and it was it was really a proud moment for me because I know we've been talking about um, you know how real is the or talking about you know the role of ethics and all these things, and I always kind of wondered you know when push comes to shove. Uh, how will that look? And the way it went is, you know, we got the key people together and, you know, our president asked what's the right thing to do for our patients and, and you know, we all kind of said recall. And he said, okay, that's it. No more discussion. That's good for them. Do it. And, uh, you know, that's what you want with stakeholder theory is you don't just think about, you know, the, the shareholders. You think about the big picture. At any rate, so... Um, Hopefully we can get the uh, word stakeholder back in the language. So at any rate, uh, that's a little bit about stakeholder theory. And uh, as always, you can find more of my videos at TomOrichConsulting.com. And I think on YouTube, you can search on Dr. Tom Ulrich. That seems to work also. And as always, uh, thank you for listening. We'll talk to you later.